the next section of this, and it's always something that people ask us about Facebook and Google and you know how it is that we profit with Google ads and why don't we, you know, talk more about Facebook? Uh, like, you know, people always saying Facebook ads this, Facebook ads that. Why don't we, you know, why don't we like dive into Facebook? And don't get me wrong, Facebook is awesome. Facebook ads are awesome. You can make a ton of money with Facebook. But honestly, in my hum most honest, humble opinion, Google is a lot easier than Facebook. There's a lot less roadblocks. There's a lot less uh, pains. There's a lot of things that Google does very well that Facebook, unfortunately, it, it sucks at. So I'm actually going to talk about the little two points here. And I'm going to talk to you guys first about Facebook, give you guys a rundown, tell you guys, you know, what you're, what you're getting with Facebook. And then I'll tell you why Google does better. Point number one is how uh, Facebook charges you. So Facebook is a social media platform. You know, you're scrolling through your feed. You want to see what your friends are doing. You want to see what your family is doing. You want to see funny videos, whatever. Uh, so Facebook, the way that they charge you, you know, you'll be scrolling on your feed and then your ad automatically pops up, right? Uh, what they count that as is a, as, as an impression. So Facebook charges you based on impressions, okay? Meaning that if a thousand people see your ad, you are paying Facebook for those impressions. It doesn't matter if they're, you know, interested in your product. It doesn't matter if, you know, if, if like they're just there for like whatever reason. If they see your ad, if your ad shows up, then you're being charged. The next thing here is you have to research your audience. So this is something that, you know, before you run an ad, you want to make sure you're researching your audience so that you know who you're targeting. So it's not just showing your ad to random people who are completely uninterested. You have to research your audience to figure out who those people are that are, that want to buy that product. So that's the next thing. You have to make a creative video, a picture, something that when your audience sees it, they're gonna be interested and they're gonna to want to buy your product. The audience here on Facebook, since we're just showing them an ad, since we, you know, they've never been exposed to our product before, this is generally a cold audience. And this is probably the biggest, the biggest thing about Facebook. The audience on Facebook is people who aren't necessarily looking for what you're selling, but when they see it, for whatever reason, they want to buy it because it's something that, you know, they haven't seen, they, they've never heard about the product, they see it on a video and they're like, wow, that looks really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. They're not there. They're not on Facebook looking to buy products. They're there on Facebook, you know, seeing the, seeing funny videos, uh, looking at what their friends are doing, looking at what family members are doing, that type of stuff. And then they're getting hit with an ad and they're buying on impulse if they buy it. So this is kind of like the little things, little points about Facebook. And now we're gonna talk about Google and why I think Google is so much better and nicer uh, for beginners and so much better just, you know, in a lot of ways. So.